This ninth edition of the World Forum for Democracy ended on an unmistakably upbeat note. I am optimistic because I think we will make it. Uh, the question is also that multilateralism starts at home. So that means that governments will have to build the capacity to build consensus at home, to achieve the targets, but also to build the skills and capacities to continue negotiation at the international level, to build the multilateralism of the future that will be more fluid, involving civil society, involving youth, involving the private sector, a different type of multilateralism in the future. Young people are at the center of the discussions and there is a recognition that the youth movement is key to tackling the world's most pressing environmental issues. So one of the findings that we had the opportunity to uh, highlight with my co-operator Tim Carr were around actually the fact that uh, while there's a lot of amazing young people in this forum, a lot of youth delegates, il n'y a pas une jeunesse, il y a des jeunesses. Une jeunesse qui s'engage et qui marche pour le climat, une jeunesse qui s'engage à la COP26, mais il y a aussi une jeunesse qui vit la transition environnementale et la subie. Moi, je pense que nous réussirons cet enjeu que si toutes les jeunesses se retrouvent. We need to uh, increase the participation and the, and the voice of uh, young people in the policy making process. There are different ways to go about it. Looking after the interest of the youth in terms of revising every single law that is approved, every single uh, public policy, and, and, and making sure that those policies and those laws uh, take into account the long-term interest, the long-term stake that young people uh, have. Over the course of the forum, a clear consensus emerged that democracy can indeed save the environment. Democracy uh, prepares the political conditions for everyone to have a say in the environment. It talks about human rights, it talks about individual freedoms, it talks about uh, citizens being involved it, together with their leaders, with the leaders that they have elected and chosen to elect. We've also seen some major commitments on green, on climate made in Glasgow recently. So part of the idea is to build commitments. Then the second part is accountability. And of course, this is where the mechanisms have to be built at the multilateral level to make sure that countries fulfill their commitments, especially on climate these days. There are a certain number of things democracy can do, and this forum is showing that the many faceted aspects of democracy uh, can actually, if they are coordinated, if they are coherent, if, they, if every level makes the effort that is needed, uh, there is a chance to improve the environment. Solutions will only come when young people, civil society, the government, and the private sector work together and share ideas. Les efforts doivent se conjuguer, les enjeux se conjuguent, l'effort des États, l'engagement des États doit venir accompagner une mobilisation citoyenne. To round out the forum, the Democracy Innovation Prize was awarded to the Green Blue Deal for the Middle East Initiative. Uh, I think that it's pretty obvious who the winner is, and uh, the winner is Green Blue, Green Blue Deal, for, Deal the for the Middle East. I think we can give a last big round of applause. It's a big honor to be uh, recognized in this way and for our Green Blue Deal to get visibility uh, from this direction. It's uh, really, really thankful. So I think uh, we're, we're seeing um, maybe a, a momentum that indeed there is an interest in this initiative and that we can move forward. We need all stakeholders involved, whether it's the community level, whether it's youth, we have a very, very strong presence here and, and for good reason, and whether it's the decision makers and the private sector, we need to get everyone engaged in finding solutions because we cannot do it in our own silos. We need to involve everyone. Our organization exists to protect and promote human rights, democracy and the rule of law. So I'm glad that this forum's plenary sessions looked at what contribution we all can and should make. This year's event ended on a high with a rousing performance by Bosnian group Dubioza Collective. We'll be back next year to cover the 10th edition of the World Forum for Democracy. See, See you then! then.